Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down USC. We've got Alicia Day Artola on the line from Reign of Troy. Always does an outstanding job getting us set for 2019 most recently. And uh, we would like to uh, remind you, you can uh, help us build the channel by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below. Doesn't cost you an extra penny. Don't have to buy the product. Just grab that link to do your Amazon shopping. Also, join us at the College Football uh, Voice of College Football community over on Patreon, where we deliver two exclusive live streams involving you. So we bring you on to talk to the Voice of College Football and also my direct response to your viewer comments. To date this year, we're over 36,000 comments compared to 6,000 at this point last year. So thank you for the response. All right, let's start breaking down some uh, position units. So we'll go to the offensive line that's been much maligned in recent years. Missing three starters from 2018, including uh, Toa Lobodon, who has moved on as a free agent. Uh, he's in Jets camp. Uh, so your thoughts about the prospects in replacing those three and moving forward? Yeah, USC's offensive line is obviously in transition, but they performed so poorly last season in general that there is a little bit of positivity about where this group could be going, even though they are replacing the three starters. Toa Lobendon was a veteran, but he had a difficult senior season, and so there is a, a lot of hope that his replacement, Brett Nealon, who was the number two center coming out of, of high school when he was a recruit, uh, it was a, a really um, intriguing prospect in the sense that he's got he seems to have the right mentality. Uh, he he is a, a, a reasonable leader, seems to understand what he needs to do as far as commanding the offensive line from the center position. And he's got a, a mean streak that's that, that you got to like. And he fits into that offensive line quite well. Uh, Chris Brown is being replaced by Elijah Vera Tucker, who was a, a rotational guy last season filling in for Andrew Voorhees at time at times on the at right guard. Elijah Vera Tucker, I have argued, should have been USC starting right guard last season. And I am quite excited to see him at left guard now, getting his chance to shine, be in there, uh, game in and game out, and and do his thing. I think he uh, has a more solid base than than Andrew Voorhees was able to show last year. So I think potentially there's there's a, a an upgrade there as far as if he reaches his potential. The big, big question is at right tackle where USC is replacing Chuma Adoga. During spring camp, they had Jalen McKenzie filling in there, and he he looked pretty solid. He had played the final two games of the season in 2018 because Chuma Adoga was, was dealing with some injuries. So he's had some game experience, but USC landed Tennessee transfer Drew Richmond this spring, and he's going to be enrolling in the fall. And he's not, I mean, he's a graduate transfer. He was a pretty highly touted player. He was a starter at Tennessee. And you got to imagine he's coming to USC to start. Like, I, I don't think this is a guy who comes to USC thinking he's going to be sitting on the bench. So it will be a really intriguing fall camp battle between him and McKenzie, because I think both of them will be looking at it and saying, I deserve to start, especially because Jalen McKenzie was, was increasingly becoming one of the leaders on the offensive line in spring camp. So that'll be the the big thing to watch. One of those two guys is going to be the starter on uh, at right tackle. And again, it, it's not like this offensive line has anywhere but up to go. They have a a, a new offensive line coach in Tim Drevno. In Tim Drevno, they have a new offensive system which has very much streamlined and simplified what it is that they're being asked asked to do. And so the hope around USC is that keeping it simple will ultimately yield a much, much better results than they were able to show last year. So with all these uh, conversations I have day to day, I forget that, uh, yeah, Adoga, the, um, the, the better of the two prospects at going to the New York Jets, he was actually drafted uh, number 92, a uh, top three selection uh, in the NFL draft. And then also, uh, yeah, Drew Richmond. I've talked to some Tennessee folks uh, down through the years about him. And most recently, since he transferred out of the program, he was actually a five-star who was not supposed to start his first year, was pressed into duty, and there were several uh, issues with the offense, and obviously Tennessee has had its issues overall uh, that could have related to his disappointing play, but uh, he had a promising first year there at Tennessee and then uh, got uh, bumped and bruised a little bit and also uh, consistently started but wasn't the force that they expected him to be. But five-star talent could really be coached up and uh, maybe given a, a new lease on life there across the country.